the most prestigious night in rugby league, without a shadow of a doubt, with the beautiful Ellen Road Pavilion, the great and the good are here to see three inductees to the Hall of Fame. Andy Gregory, Derek Turner, and sadly no longer with us, and this man, Johnny Whiteley. Johnny, you're gonna be walking up onto this stage uh, within a couple of hours and, and receiving uh, your medal and that honorary status. What does it mean to you as, as, a, as a man to be inducted into the Hall of Fame? What does it mean? Well, you, you can't put it into words, really. And, 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 and I've said this, repeat, I'm repeating myself now, you know, somebody has to earn honours uh, along the line. But, you know, this wonderful game of rugby league has been such that so many people have contributed to me going up to receive that gong. And uh, I like to feel that I just, rep like as, as the captain of the team, I lead the captain, I lead yeah. the team out. And I'm leading the team indirectly. I'm on that stage to receive an award. But that award is for everybody. You know, and, and, and also people don't forget this, that, you know, a lot of people have got to give so much in the life, like my family, like my wife, I've been married six, 63 years and, um, and she still is washing my gear without <laughs> a, any problems. You know, I just show, throw my sweaty gear down in the, in the drying room and, and it gets washed without thinking it's, you know, 50, 60, 70 years ago. <laughs> One of two inductees live in the place tonight. Andy Gregory, um, what does it mean to you to be inducted into this very, very prestigious club, the Hall of Fame? Yeah, it's hard to put words to. Uh, I remember a few years ago I got inducted in the Wigan Hall of Fame and I was so, so proud for my family, my mum and my brothers. And uh, it, it, it was an honour, but like, to be one of 20 odd to get inducted into the Great Britain Rugby League Hall of Fame, it's, it is something special and you know you can't buy it. Uh, I put a lot of work in and I, I, I love my career at Rugby League and I had some great times, I had ups and downs and highs and lows, but uh, it, 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 I wouldn't swap it for anything, but to be here tonight with my mum, my wife, my brother, my school teacher who taught me. And when I got put in Wiggins Hall of Fame, same again, I had my mum there and uh, my brother there, and I had Mr. Butchall there. So he's, he's one of the most proudest blokes tonight. I think my mum will be the most of my brothers and my wife, but uh, I'll never ever forget what Mr. Butchall did for me. Greg, enjoy your night. It's your night tonight. I'm so proud for you. Outstanding. Thank Cheers, you. mate. Thank you very much. The boot is from England, Tommy Makinson. I've lost my bet, right? I've, I put money on this man walking away with the golden boot tonight because you were the only player out of the nominees to play in the World Cup final, and the World Cup final in it, but you got beat by a winger. Yeah. Tommy Makinson, who has been outstanding, to be fair, since he's come into the starting lineup in place of Ryan Hall, he's been outstanding. Obviously, commiserations, you didn't get there, but you've had a phenomenal year this year with Canberra and England, mate. Yeah, look, um, Tommy, well done to him. Um, like you said, he's played really well um, in the, this test series, and he had a good game in Denver when he came on as well. So, um, yeah, you know, the winger scoring tries, but yeah, well, well done to him, and he's well deserved. One of the good guys in rugby league. He's got what he deserved after a fantastic year of international rugby. And a lot of people say, oh, well, it should be the, you know, the, it's, it's a for international rugby league, this award, isn't it? That's what, that's what it's, they've changed the criteria slightly. And, mate, you've had such a fantastic year playing national rugby. Has it been a bit of a whirlwind? Yeah, it's been a bit of a, like a whirlwind, like you said. If you, if you, I put this in my hand a couple of years ago and said, you're going to win this, I'd have been like, you're dreaming, mate. And, and to collect this today, it means, means a lot, mate. Mate, number one international player in the world. A really, really prestigious club. Some of the biggest names yeah. presented by Kevin and Gary Schofield. Yeah, it, it's, it's crazy, but you were the nearly men this year at Saints. And yeah. you said that Justin and um, Wayne had give you renewed confidence after obviously an awful 18 months injury. You've come back and you've literally been on fire. And for Wayne to say what he said about you, um, saying, 
where have you been hiding? You're next level. Be like, oh, I'll, have a, I'll have a little deal at NRL. <laughs> yeah, Wayne, Wayne is a legend. Uh, what he's done for us uh, internationally, it, just to give me a shot in Denver, it was it was pretty special. And to go over to Denver, not knowing whether I play, and then being part of a three-match series against the uh, the Kiwis, it's like I said, it's it's, it's just mind-blowing, mate. I, I, I cannot explain to you, but a lot of thanks goes to my coach Justin Albrook as well. You know, he, he deals with me. You know, my mood swings every day, and and what I'm like at training and morning and footing, and he's he's always there for us. And, to you know, I think he'll be as proud as anyone tonight that I've got this, he's a legend. Right. Fantastic achievement, really, really well done. Uh, number one player internationally in the world, Tommy Makinson. Legend, cheers mate, cheers, thank brother. you.